Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Before we start, we would like to thank you for all the support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that. So thanks again. Now, back to the video. Ah, romance, flowers, moonlit nights, warm candles, a blazing fireplace, an alluring breeze in the midnight air. The kisses have only just begun. I'm talking about chocolate kisses, but uh, the other kind too. Have you had your first kiss? Ever wondered what the different types of kisses actually mean? From the light peck to the passionate French kiss, there are several types of kisses. Each type actually has a different meaning that could give you a little insight into your relationship with your partner. So to help you find out what your partner is thinking when they give you a light kiss or a sweet peck, here are nine types of kisses and what they really mean. Number one, a peck. Usually used as a quick hello and goodbye, the peck is used casually and innocently. Often couples will use the peck early in a relationship as it's a great way to test the chemistry you have with your partner. So if you often and only use pecs, then perhaps your relationship with this person is simply friendly and fun. Number two, the simple closed mouth kiss. The closed mouth kiss is simple in nature and lasts longer than the peck on the lips. A lot of first kisses are like this, since you may be testing your chemistry with them. However, if you suddenly find your partner only giving you this kind of kiss when you've kissed differently before, then it may mean that they're growing uncomfortable and or are closing themselves off in the relationship. Number three, a kiss on the cheek. Does your partner love to give you sweet kisses on the cheek? If so, this may mean that they truly enjoy your company and wish to show it. Whether it's while you're both at a party or out with friends, they may kiss you on the cheek as a way to show that they're thinking about you. This type of kiss usually means you have a good foundation with a solid friendship built around your love. Number four, a gentle kiss. This kiss is commonly used between partners and signifies how comfortable and close you are with each other. It can be passionate and loving in nature to show that you're both deeply into each other at the moment. Not only does kissing this way mean that they have strong feelings for you, but they may also be teasing you for more intimacy in the future. Number five, the lock kiss. You and your partner can't get enough of each other but one of you has to suddenly go. As your partner turns away, you can't help but give one more kiss for the evening. In this type of kiss, where the bodies are leaning apart as if fleeting, yet the lips stay locked together, is called the lock kiss. It means that you're both passionate about each other to the point that you can't stand it when either of you has to go. Number six, the French kiss. The French kiss is used frequently among very passionate couples. If you often give your partner a French kiss, you're showing your desire and attraction for them while hinting at a bit of exploration. Using it frequently also means you may have an adventurous romantic relationship. It signifies romance and attraction in its most intense form. Number seven, the angel kiss. The angel kiss is when your partner gives you a gentle kiss on your eyelid. Like the name suggests, they're acting as your guardian angel and are showing you that they'll always be there for you. It's a supportive and comforting kiss that is often given to help their loved one feel calm and loved. It's a form of affection that shows that you both have a healthy relationship with each other. Number eight, the hickey. The hickey can mean different things depending on how much they make a point to give you one. While it can be a way to show that your partner is a very passionate person and is attracted to you, it could also be a sign of jealousy. When your partner gives you a hickey all the time, they may be using it as a way to show others that you're already taken. While this isn't always the case, it's always best to communicate your feelings with your partner. And number nine, kissing on the neck. Does your partner enjoy planting kisses on your neck? Kissing on the neck is a passionate and intimate form of affection that shows they're a very open person. It may mean that your partner is very attracted to you and that you're both in an exciting and romantic place in your relationship. So, did any of these explanations give you a bit of insight into your relationship? How many of these kisses have you used before? Or are you still waiting for the right person to come along and you just watch this video out of curiosity? If you find this video interesting, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. 
The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.